So this is my HT7870 with the Accelero Twin Turbo. This is actually an XFX model. Um, yeah, I bricked the card with a with a Tahiti bias because I was hoping to unlock the voltage from from the X uh, from the XFX to do voltage cl uh, core. Here you can see on the first slot um, NVIDIA 9800GT and then the next is uh, an AMD HD7870. Of course I did um, DOS flash drive uh, with an uh, ATI flash and the BIOS in it, the backup BIOS of course. There we go, we just t turn on and then we must wait to the boot menu, there we go, we want the flash drive, so I'm gonna choose the third one, there we go, it will accept, there we go, now I will put the command ATI flash minus I. This is the, the the command order to find the AMD uh, adapter. There we go. Not success. Adapter not found. I will try minus AI to find the advanced advanced properties. Nope. No. Uh, I forgot to mention. I even, yeah, when I, I even tried that method to uh, when when you are in the BIOS to pull the first the the first card and then put the brick card on the first slot. So just replace it, but mm, no success. So the thing, well, I actually try it was to flash the BIOS by soldering yeah soldering so you will just took the you will just take the um, just turn around the, the graphic card there we go there you see. now you will you must find the BIOS for each model is different this is an XFX, so the bias will, or is, is that tiny little thing. And you now must uh, do um, a bridge from the pin number 1 to the pin number 8. It will then, um, this pr procedure, it will then um, just, the bias, the TET bias will just uh, be ignored. This is this is what I've done. I took a small cable and solder from the pin eight to the pin one. Well, it's kind of hard to solder it, to, to to put the tin solder on the car, and I don't advise to do that. So what I've done is um, first I put the tin solder on the cable, and then I had and then it's more easily to sold to sold it on the piece uh, you can see it barely because you know, my cell phone camera sucks but you can imagine th th it's a small bridge from the pin 1 to the pin number 8 this will just ign ignore completely the Tahiti bias it will just uh, appear 
or the ATI flash will find the adapter without uh, a BIOS. I was kind of scared to do that, but fuck it. It was already bricked, so the only thing uh, left was either save it or either really kill it. There we go. You can see there a small bridge there red the red cable. Oh wait I will pull more of the line. There we go. Oh we'll just turn it on. Oh fuck. Guarded. There, there we go. I will just turn it on. go it find the signal from the 9800 GT now we're going to boot menu and find the flash drive the DOS flash drive there we go i will just put or type in ATA flash ATI flash um, minus I or AI AI is better yeah AI there we go and and boom there you go success was uh, I was really glad and happy to see that um, the bias bridge worked properly. Oh, fuck. sorry. There we go. Uh, I will just type there to uh, spot the or yes to see the names from my. Uh, from my files that I have on the that I put on uh, the flash drive, I will I will just type minus F minus P to um, forced flash and write a new BIOS on it. Then zero because on the ATI flash minus AI it says ad adapter zero, so you must put zero f uh, to the for the adapter where your graphic card is placed. Now I'll type backup dot rom. Of course I will let the M out just for in case because y you must let PC on and then <laughs> with a scissor trying to cut the cable. Uh, once again, RO. So, here we go. Wait, we need a bit more light here. There we go. So, we must go with a scissor and cut it while it is on 
while it is on working. Just, I, I was a bit scared. Just don't be scared and cut it. True. Try to avoid to touch the, the plate. So be really, really careful. There you go. You see, now it is cut. And by that I can now, now the now you can just overwrite it over the Tahiti bias. I will type just the last letter M and enter. Boom! There you go. See, my, my old bias was a Tahiti one, and now it is the backup one. The XFX. Now I must restart the... I must reboot again. Type control all delete. Uh, there we go. Now it is rebooting. You see that nothing nothing happened to my card. It isn't damaged, nor my main board, nor. But you can see the the bias. Uh, the tip of the um, of the plastic is, is a bit melted, but but don't worry. This is because I was a bit sloppy. That was shaking, you know. It's not that uh, easy to <laughs> to do that on a on a, a video card. So I removed the um, the cable. You know, there now there isn't. No cables inside it. Well, just wait, turn it on, and boom, success. Now I'll I changed the um, I removed the nine eight zero zero GT and changed to the bricked one. No, of course, now it isn't bricked, but and it works. Neither main board or it does neither so no blue screens no black screens main bar doesn't uh, accuse nothing we'll just start the windows oh i will must wait here my room is a, is a mess hey my cat stop stop down down Do stop smelling gonna be like me You'll see <laughs> with the GPU Z you can see the BIOS now it is the has the backup BIOS same or the stock clock a uh, stock core sorry GPU pit time so run perfectly now I will just start the caps viewer. I must download the um, new drivers. It is blank because um, when I tried to fix the BIOS or to refresh again, I removed uh, or I cleaned every single driver from AMD that was related to 
the video card. So I must download it again, the Catalyze. Just wait a bit, choose model type. So you know, we must wait. There we go. Yeah, we gotta wait. I will just skip that part. There we go. Here we are, already. Now I gotta install it. So the Catalyst driver is installed, of course now I must restart the computer. So after rebooting, there I go. Now that I have rebooted, I, you see now my screen resolution is fixed because of the driver. Oh, I will just check it. There we go. There it is. Now it is. The, the blank spaces are now filled with uh, information from the driver and from the GPU. Yeah. Of course, we. <laughs> or I. I can't um, do voltage clock on it. But I will show you on the next, next days. Because I just did it. E I will show you uh, next week how to do it. You you can actually um, do voltage clock with XFX. So this is my result. Uh, this was uh, if someone had some problems with that, uh, tried everything possible might be the solution so that's it see you next time bye